Hi friends, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Welcome to the next video friends and today we will learn fetching the stored data back from Cloud Firestore. So let's begin. In this video, I will display all the saved products to a recycler view. And to save time, I have already created the next activity where we will display the recycler view. I have also done with creating recycler view adapter and the XML files to save time as we have done this thing many times in many previous videos. Okay, so I do not want to waste time doing the same thing again and again. And if you don't know about recycler view, then I have the link of the recycler view tutorial in the description of this video. You can check the recycler view tutorial first. Okay. So before starting the tutorial, let me tell you the changes I have done to this project. So the first change I did in main activity. So inside main activity, I created this view products text view. And when we will click on this text view, we will open the products activity where we will display all the products saved inside cloud Firestore. Okay. So inside main activity, I attached a click listener to the text view that I shown you just now. When we are clicking on the text view, we are starting the products activity using the start activity method. And when we are clicking on the button save, I am calling the method save product and all the codes that I written in the previous video here, I just moved that code to this save product method. Okay, so it is a simple cut paste. Then I also changed the method name to has validation errors because this makes more sense. Okay, so the name is good now. So this is the changes. These are the changes that I did in main activity. Then I created products activity and here I have created the objects for recycler view adapter product list and progress bar as inside activity products i have a recycler view and a progress bar i have also created this layout file for recycler view and inside this layout underscore product dot xml file i will display the product that we have inside our cloud file store okay so this is the layout for recycler view and i also created this products adapter and you will learn these things in detail in the recycler view tutorial. The link is given in the description of the video I'm telling again. Okay. So the basic setup is ready. Okay. What we will learn is we will learn fetching data back from cloud file store. Okay. So this is the thing that we are going to learn in this video. So to fetch the data from cloud file store, First, we need to understand how our data is stored. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a collection named products. Inside the collection, we store documents. Okay, so each of our product is a document. So inside the collection products, you can see we have multiple documents. So we need to fetch all the documents that are inside products. Okay. So first we will create the Firebase Firestore object here. So let's create it. And you can name the object anything. In this case, it is DB. Now first we will get the collection. So we have the collection named products. And to do this, we will write DB dot collection. We have a predefined method collection. And here we need to pass the name of our collection, which is products okay but we do not need to fetch the collection we need to fetch all the products or all the documents that are inside this collection okay and to do this we will call the get method here okay and it will return us all the documents which are actually products inside the collection products okay this is the collection name now here we can attach an add on success listener and to pass the success listener, just write new, give an space and press control enter and select on success listener. Okay. Let me show you again. We have written add on success listener. Then inside the parenthesis, new space 
and then press control space okay and select on success listener so we have the on success listener and inside this query document snapshot we have all the products okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to check if query document snapshots this object dot is empty and we will put a not here that will confirm that the query document snapshot objects is not empty okay so if it is not empty that means we have the products inside this query document snapshots object so we will fetch all the products or all the document and to fetch the document from cloud file store we have a class document snapshot so when we will fetch all the document inside the collection with the help of this query document snapshot object we will get a list of document to store it we need to create a list of type document snapshot okay and you can name the object anything in this case it is list and we will get the document snapshot list from this query document snapshot object so right here query document snapshots dot get documents and it will give us all the documents okay so we got all the documents but it is in document snapshot format okay it is actually a document snapshot and to dis and to display it inside recycler view we need to convert this thing into a product object okay so first we need to traverse every item in this list and to do this we can use a enhance for loop and at every index we have a document snapshot so it will give us a document snapshot okay i hope you know the enhance for loop so inside d we have the document snapshot we need to convert this d to a product object okay and to do this we can simply call d dot to object and here we need to specify the class in which we want to convert the document snapshot okay so here we defined we need to convert it into a product class now we can simply add this product to our product list okay so here we will write product list dot add and we will pass the p that's it we have read all the products from cloud file store now we can simply call adapter dot notify data set changed to tell the recycler view to reload the data okay with the new data now let's run this thing but before we also need to hide the progress bar okay so here we can write progress bar dot set visibility gone okay now let's run it click on view products oops it is crashing let's check the log cat okay to see what is the error okay let's run it again okay and many people say in comment that my app is crashing so if your application is crashing do this thing okay you need to check the crash report why it is crashing then only you can solve the problem so let's click on view products and here you can see we have a null pointer exception okay and it is at db collection so what i missed i just missed to initialize this firebase firestore object okay so this db is null and that is why we are getting a null pointer exception so we can simply write here db equals to firebase firestore dot get instance and it is perfect now now let's run it again click on view products and you can see we have all the products so it is working fine guys and don't worry if you are having any confusions or problems you can get my source code the link is given in the description of the video so that's all for this video friends i hope you found it helpful if you did then please hit on the like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thank you guys this is bilal khan signing off